15. Andreas Sch Schneiderbauer. Schneiderbauer is going to take this. And on the other side, 12. Comes in from above. Triton trying to get underneath the goalie and manages to slip it over the goalie's shoulder, and in it goes without too much effort. Anders Osbeck, captain of Mamo Triton. There you see it. Uh, Jim Holmbach. So they have selected the Finnish attacker, he's a forward, yeah? So, and his sister plays for the Finnish women's national team, Meli Holmbeck. So it's a sport very much runs in the family. Down it comes. The goalie's down, 77. Uh, hopeless, hope, there was really no opportunity there. He, he didn't have the, the basket covered even for that critical second there. Yeah, well, the, he, uh, the goalie tried to took him with his feet first, but he got past his feet, feet in a second, and then the goal was completely open, and, and the goal, ball was in. So the goalie has only one in ten chance of stopping a, a, a strong attacker. Yeah, but naturally it depends on, on the attacker and, and goalie. Some some goalies are better than some, some others and, and Victor here is, is very very good in, in uh, as a goalie in, in penalty throws. I, I know that. So let's see how it begins. Here comes the attacker. He comes in from above, trying to get under the goalie. He's got the goalie off and he's got an open basket. He's just afraid of a hand coming out. He can go up to the surface and get air, and he does. So he leaves uh, the goalie, who is Victor Krilov, as we guessed. Uh, it comes down again, and Krilov must be running low on air. He's got the open goal, but Krilov snatches it away. A save. A save by Krilov. I, I am not surprised. <laughs> but it was, it, it was very, very well played. It, w it was difficult. The attacker went went back to get some some air, so so it's very very difficult situation for a goalkeeper when when he knows that the guy comes in with with fresh fresh air in his lungs and and he just have to wait and see what what happens. But uh and we'll probably see Victor try to do the penalty for better. He'll be the goalie. Victor Krilov. Uh, he normally does it. Uh, he does it. Can I see? And uh, from we'll see number. Can you see his number? I can't. So far away. Have they called a timeout? No, no. Wait, okay, wait. It's Victor, better, and number two. That's uh, Richard Linkist. So Victor is really good at penalties. She says. Oh. Ah, oops, that's strong. Uh, oh, it's a, he's got to score. No, he's got, he's got it, and he puts it in. Nice, <laughs> nice penalty. Yeah, very exciting. Who was that? Number three. Number three, that's Jakob Tun. Jakob Tun. Jakob Tun played for. A uh, club in the south of Sweden when he began, then he took a time off from underwater rugby, came back and played with Caviar. Is it Marcus Nordstrom? He's taking this. The veteran goalie. He's lost control of the basket and. Nordstrom is indicating his mask was ripped off, and the referee didn't call anything. Here we 
can see in slow motion. Slow mo, he gets, and I would guess that it's Marcus Nordstrom for Polisen. We can see Therese Blenard giving a bit of encouragement to him. But down they go, and it's jammed in at short notice. As, as it tore, yeah, Pesan who took it. You see, here he comes in number f from the bottom. And the goalie never really had a cover. Number one there. It wasn't Nordstrom. That was Petra Aronson. And it was Thor from Gepsen who scored the goal. Now he comes in. The goalie's in the... Got the goal, he had the goalie off. We'll see the replay here, hopefully. And he comes in from above. He tries to get a neck. He gets under. The goalie loses some of his position on the basket, recovers it, but then uh, he comes in from above. Puts the ball.